Yeah, I don't. Not a huge fan of the bone crunches. No, but, but it's uh, exciting. I love seeing the yeah, old. Not, I love seeing the old coming back. Yeah, it's good, and it's good for them to find their own little niche as well. So, yeah, yeah. Go Someone's on. just correcting me here. Match issued. So basically, instead of Origin and NRL, this is going back for the uh, the raffle for Mark Bushy, Dean Gay guy. Was, is issued two jerseys to play on the game, and he only wore one on the game, which left one left over, and that's what uh, is the main prize in the raffle. So, um, still open, guys. Support us. Uh, that's it for community news. How about we hear a little word from our favourite collectible store, Australia wide, and the major sponsor of the Wrestling with Figs podcast, Go Figure Collectible. The Wrestling with Figs podcast is proudly supported by Go Figure Collectibles. I can't believe this. Go Figure Collectibles have been established for over 20 years and have an extensive range of wrestling figures, DVDs, and merchandise. Go Figure Collectibles offers a huge variety of pop culture items such as Funko Pops, statues, TV, movie, and video game memorabilia, and so much more. It's a fact for you, mate. For all the Wrestling with Figs podcast listeners and Figs Down Under community members, use code FDU5 to save 5% off your next purchase store wide. You're going to be joking me! 5% yeah. Visit them online at gofigurecollectibles.com.au or if you're in the Melbourne area, go check out the store on 104 Bakers Road, Coburg, North Victoria and say g'day to Jeff and the team. G'day, mates. Support local and support Go Figure Collectibles who continue to do great things for the collecting community down under. And go. And go. Here we go. So here's, here's an opportunity to highlight some of the other stuff that uh, Jeff sells down there at Go Figure Collectibles and... This week we've picked out, it's a pre-order, and it's the Hot Toys, amazing company, Hot Toys 1-6th one, one Batmobile. Now have a go at that thing. I actually had that uh, back in the day, so they must be doing a re-release of this of this line. Now that's up for pre-order for $899, which is what they wow. sold them for originally, and I paid that, and I can guarantee you, I won't tell you how much I sold mine for, but before I moved here last year, I live in Port Macquarie, moved from Sydney. I sold mine for, I reckon, close to double that. So I would, uh, if you're a Batman fan and you're a Hot Toys fan and you're looking for a you know, potentially little investment or even just to add to your Batman collection, that's what Jeff is providing down at Go Figure Collectibles. Are going to jump on that? Uh, that one. Uh, look, I'm not a big Batman fan. Uh, I'm <laughs> more, more, more of a Robin fan. <laughs> yeah, for obvious reasons. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, let's jump into big, big, uh, big segment. This one, mate, big segment, merch perch. Dude, I went down to the shops to pick up some fruit and veg. I couldn't help myself. Went down to the toy aisle. You never believe what I got. What you get? What you get? I got some figs. What you get? What you get? I found some figs. You know, it's typical of you. On a week when I've got something really cool to sort of <laughs> to try and out outdo me with <laughs> fancy pants prototype rubbish. So, would you like to go first, James? No, no, no. I'll let you go first, mate. I'll let you well, go. Well, of course, of course. Yeah. Then just let me set up with my <laughs> mediocre purchases. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. So first up for me, uh, that from Jacob Benet. I believe it's pronounced Benet or Bennett. It could be one or the other. Uh, I have the Elite Blue Shirt Big Boss Man. Uh, I really like this figure. We talked about it a few weeks ago. It comes with the handcuffs, the nightstick, and the removable hat. This is an uh, iconic boss man. Um, mm. Don't need the black shirt one. I just don't get it. I just don't get it at all. And I also bought the um, Scott Hall NWO Elite. Now, when I have these, because I actually bought a few of those over from the States, and then on sold them. Um, but no, I saw great. it and I thought, oh, you know what? I want to keep, I, w- I wouldn't mind having this in my collection. And then when I opened the box, I realized, ah, it's not actually that great. <laughs> so the Scott Hall is just okay for me. It looked better in the package than it does out. Um, and then I've got this image up at the moment of the boss man protecting his uh, favorite colleague, Hulk Hogan, Storm Collectibles Hulk Hogan there. So that was my first p- pickup of the week. The second one, this is pretty exciting for me. I've talked about it a few times. It was my uh, AFL dual signature optimum card 
featuring the two most famous number eights of the Frio Dockers, Andy Brayshaw and Sean McManus, also a radio star over here on Nova. Uh, both signed the card. It was via redemption, so I had to send it in. In a huge day in a, in West, well, in Australia for football collecting cards because the set that dropped today was a Select Supremacy. Ten cards in one box. James, how much was a box cost? Oh, I don't know. A thousand bucks? Seven hundred. Wow. For ten so cards. For ten, ten cards guarantees one wow. auto and wow. one um, sort of rarer card. But it seems to be most boxes are getting three or four um, pretty rare cards. But I'll talk about that in what's online very shortly. And who who manufactures Supremacy? Uh, Select. Select. It's an Australian company. Yeah, so they do all of the AFL cards except for Team Coach, uh, which is done by – oh, I have to find out who who makes Team Coach. But they do a Footy Stars, which is a base set, like a a basic set, 100 bucks a box. Uh, 36 packs. Then they do Prestige, which is like a premium version of the base set. Uh, then they do uh, one premium set at about 300 bucks a box each year. And then yeah. uh, this Supremacy set, they did that two years ago. And this is the second version of it, uh, which is wow. really, really ultra high end, really thick card stock, um, really rare signatures. The rarest card of the set is a quad signature booklet card featuring the four greatest goal kickers of AFL history. So um, it'd be very like Gary Ablett, Jason Dunstall, Tony Lockett. And I can't remember who the other one is, to be honest, off the top of my head. I think, it, oh, I don't want to say because I'll be wrong, but um, it would be a fantastic card to have in your collection. 25 yeah, total total mode. All right, that's enough of AFL, mate. We, we've got the crowd booing us. We've got who? Someone's just written here. Who's AFL and what do they sell? <laughs> is that everything? Probably a rugby you fan. Coach? Is that everything new for you? That's everything. That's everything. I've probably had other little bits and pieces. I've got a few things coming in. Um, I've got an LJN coming from Zash Man, but nice. uh, I'm looking forward to getting that. Awesome. Awesome. Well, here we go. First up, I'm going to talk to my Series 87 Warlord. Huge thanks to Peter Poulos, one of our valued members of the group. You know, obviously heard that I was after one, sent me a message while he was at the shops. He uh, was going to keep it for himself to make a, to make a mould or customise it in some way, shape or form and reached out to see if I wanted it at cost price. You know, such a... Such a good deed, and I uh, greatly appreciate it, Peter. So thank you. That's now ticked off the list. You know that little debacle we had earlier in the year with uh, your mate Chad Chad over in the States? Yeah. The only figure now that I haven't been able to recoup is uh, the Million Dollar Man in the Black Tux. So that's the only elite figure that uh, I still need to add to my collection. So if anyone has that, let me know. In the same debacle... (laughs) Uh, I, the only figure I think I haven't picked up now is the Mark Henry decade of domination, which was part of that yeah, right. order as well. Right. So disappointing. Now I don't want it. I don't want it because it reminds me of Chad Chad. <laughs> yes. Anyway, back back to me, Chris. Now this week, this week was a very special week. Uh, actually, no, last week I had this landed on my front doorstep. So those that don't know and those that know, I apologise, but I'm going to share a quick story again. My goal is to have the ultimate series one to four WWF Hasbro collection. And I'm two pieces away from completing that collection. But one part of that collection I'm I'm very, very proud to have completed is to have a prototype in some way, shape or form from series one to four. I had a series two, I had a series three and I had a series four, you know, British Bulldog from the, from series four, Sergeant Slaughter from series three and a Rowdy Piper from series two, all hand painted prototypes. Now, I've avoided collecting two ups over the years. So two ups are the you know they're probably two or three, two and a half or three times the size of a normal figure because of their, they're just so pricey and they uh, I don't know they just don't do it for me. But when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. Um, thanks to member Mark uh, Mark Reynolds uh, who approached me and said I want to swap my my Bushwhackers prototypes for this piece. And and what I got in the mail was. Uh, unpainted resin, two-up prototype of Smash from Demolition on Axe, you know, Smash's head on Axe's body. Now the Axe is floating around somewhere. There's a there's a guy in America that bought Axe. I traded for Smash, but I had it 
graded by UKG. Grading isn't for everyone. I personally love it. But the way they've cased this up, just it blows my mind just how good this figure looks in real life. Well, we're sharing a picture here for those listening, and we will share on our socials, but it looks so bloody good. UKG did a phenomenal job. It's actually double boxed, as you can see in there, Chris, to a box within a box. Um, but it's just, I don't know, to have to see it in real life, it's a quality piece of Hasbro history. Huge. Hey, Jane, if anything ever happens to you, who are you leaving this to? Well, at this stage, I don't know, mate. I'll, uh, in order, it would go you. Yeah, thank then you. Then my two sons. Then my yeah, two sons. Yeah. I thought, yeah. I thought I'd be ahead of your sons. I just <laughs> did. But I just yeah. wanted to confirm it. Now we've got that as a um, recorded a statement. It's uh, out there. I'm sure this will hold up in a court of law. If anything, if you mysteriously go missing uh, and your collection <laughs> becomes mine, it will be well played. <laughs> now, Chris, I've got some huge news here, right? So this is another yeah. shout-out to another fellow member, uh, John Watson, Johnny Watson down in Melbourne. Now, uh, we did a deal, probably the biggest deal I've done in my collecting journey. Yep. Guess what I sold? Guess what I sold him? Um, I have no idea, mate. What did you sell him? My Undertaker and Bret Hart mail-aways. No. Yes. I'll tell you offline what I sold him for, but part of the deal was the Coco Beware – Series 3 drawing and a Ricky the Dragon steamboat drawing, cape drawing. So there they are there. Wow. That's, that coke everywhere is phenomenal. Uh, and the Ricky Dragon steamboat is just as good. So now all I need to complete my Series 1 to 4 set is a Series 2 drawing, original concept drawing, and a bloody Series 3 green tag to complete my ultimate Series one to four set, and I guarantee you that'll be done. I'm done. I've yes. heard that before. That's incredible, <laughs> mate. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed that uh, I wasn't offered your mail away Undertaker and Bret Hart. <laughs> well, I'll share. I'll, I'll text you. I'll, I'll text you what what I sold them for. I would and, have. Uh, uh, hang on, let, I'll just get my phone. Twenty five thousand dollars far <laughs> out, mate. The um. <laughs> that's a joke for anyone listening. Um, I um, wouldn't be able to afford them at the moment. There's no way I could afford mm. to buy them directly, but um, far out. That's a good price. You've done well. <laughs> um, the uh, uh, <laughs> I'm actually a bit shocked at that price. It's, uh, it's probably right. a fair price, but um, it is. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. It's, now, but Joe, you know, Joe, those that have dealt with Johnny, amazing guy, amazing guy to deal with. You know, pays up straight away, good to communicate with, fair, um, just a valued member of our community, and uh, he has a cracking collection as well. I can't wait to... Where, where does he live? Is he li live in New South Wales? No, uh, Victoria. Uh, so, and when you ship these, uh, you would have had to have fairly well insured them, and... Uh, yes. I would, have, I would have nearly driven them there just to be safe. <laughs> well, I paid express. I don't know whether he's got them yet or not, but anyway... Let's see. Let's let's keep moving on, mate. We're running out. Of, we're fast running out of time. We've already been going forty-five minutes. My goodness. Uh, oh, members of Oh, members, members of birth birth. I'll go first. Uh, go my on. favorite pick of the week, Lee Dowsett. Uh, oh wow! There's multiple things going on here, James. Yes. There is the Black Pants Hasbro HBK. Love it. Great figure. There's the Ring Giants. Is that HBK as well? Uh, yes. Yep. You've got the legends of uh, the Weasel, the uh, Greg the Hammer, and Razor Ramon. Ruthless Aggression, uh, Shawn Michaels, a another Ruthless Aggression figure. There's some graded NBA cards that look like Jordan, but it's hard to see. But what I like about this is he's also got the Christmas tree up in the background. Well done, Lee. And you've got his child there just relaxing in the background too. I wonder if you realised that the uh, kid was in the photo when he took it. But uh, great work, Lee. Uh, really good collection of pickups this week. Uh, and, yeah, very impressive. Awesome. My, my pick was uh, our good friend Rob Kerr and uh, Hulk Hogan enthusiast. Now, he's picked himself up a Hulk Hogan sing a couple of Hulk Hogan singlets, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And what does that uh, yellow singlet look like, Chris? Looks like the Hasbro figure, mate. Hasbro Series 2 figure. So they were my yeah. choice, and both of them signed. By the big man yeah, really himself. Cool. So great, great you know, pickups there. 
Um, just on Hulk, he's not doing so well with the, the Hulk stuff. Have you seen the picture of him lately? No, what's what's going on? There's a picture okay. of Hulk on the screen for you. He's looked like.